Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 37 and let's play Final Fantasy VI Advance. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Okay, on the contrary to what I was doing with Shadow, everybody's in the back row now. Seems how most everyone's gonna be using magic, it's better not to have them in the front at all. Okay, the floating continent can be tricky and also very dangerous. Oh, here's our first enemy right off the bat, a behemoth. Yeah, we gotta fight a behemoth first. Isn't this great? They love to use physical attacks which can hurt you like a bitch. The good news is, you can actually use Phantom and just render yourself invisible, and then their attacks are completely useless. They're weak against ice spells too, so take advantage of that. And I couldn't steal. They also tend to counter a lot, so be very careful. Of course, that's only if you're visible. You know I can steal something from a behemoth. It's probably a rare steal. Let me keep trying until I get it. In the meantime, I'm going to have Terra soften you up with Blizzara. Unfortunately, you can actually run into two behemoths at once, which is practically an encounter from hell. God, what do you have anyway that, that's pretty useful? Why is it so difficult to steal from a behemoth? Do they have anything special? Wait, I think I have an idea that might work. If you try halving its level, stealing might actually work easier. So I'm gonna use Discord. Discord halves the level of the target. So this can actually help you out with stealing. See? Got a Hermes Sandals. Don't know if that's the best thing I can get from a behemoth, but who knows? It's better than nothing. There we go. Behemoths are not that tough. Just two bizarras and you take them out. Shadow learn cure. Nice job. Straggle gain a level so his magic should be stronger. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just going to be using standard potions. Because if I use a cure spell, will this render the invisibility useless? Let me try it on Terra. Actually, let me try it on Shadow. Yep, yep, invisibility is useless even outside of battle. That sucks. Wait, let me check the bestiary. If that's the only thing the behemoth has, then it's not worth it to steal from them. Okay, that all they have are Hermes sandals. Alright, let's keep going. Man, this is very difficult to navigate around. You have to find these passages on your own. Oh, here's a new enemy, Platinum Dragon. What do they have to steal? Oh, Dragoon Boots. That's real nice. Let me try a Lightning Scroll. Ow! Okay, let me hit Vanish on Shadow. I wonder if they actually are weak against electricity. I don't know. I don't think the Dragoon Boots are worth it. Let's see. Well, let me try a standard Shuriken this time. So I can do a little bit more damage. Oh yeah, that works. I'll have to look into their weakness real soon. Just see if I can use anything better than electricity. Eh, they're not too bad. I can easily handle them. Give a good amount of experience, though. I like that. Alright, to the bestiary. Let's take a look. Why couldn't I just stay on the entry I was already on? Okay, so it has no weakness. I see. What's this? I was gonna get there too. Oh, now we gotta take on some ninjas. That's real great. Remember, we fought these in the in the cave to the sealed gate. Now this time they can actually show up on the bestiary. And yeah, they use scrolls that nullifies your invisibility altogether. That sucks. 
Oh well, at least we can take them out now. Okay, perfect. Shadow Learn, Regan, and Kira. Regen, I mean. Okay, let's go. Fully healed. Oh, what's in here? Ah, Mirasami. It's for Cyan, I believe. Okay, that was just another behemoth battle. Let's continue. Hey! Another chest is opened. Good thing I got everybody invisible because, yeah, there's a monster in the box. And here's the beast you gotta take on. A Gigantos. These things are powerful because they will execute throw jab repeatedly. It's a devastating physical. So yeah, it's very dangerous. Luckily, they don't know any magic spells, so attack them at your own leisure. As for Strago, I believe he can use level 5 death on them. So make use of it. And then watch the Gigantos die. Boom. That's a lot of experience. And we got a Sasuke! That's gonna be pretty good for Shadow. Let's equip it. Uh, Sasuke, Sakura, well, they're very close together. Late thought to have belonged to a famous ninja. Likely from the Goemon series. Even though it's a Konami product. Now oh, this is where we need to go, right over here. That was fun. Oh, here's a new enemy! Apocrypha. Be careful against these guys, because when they're alone, they are at their most dangerous. Yeah, here we go. That was a counter. Uh, it only affected Shadow. Okay, so we avoid Flare, which is pretty good. Well, except for Shadow, of course. He's still hurt. So if you take all of its magic, you can render it useless. In fact, you can kill it that way. See? That was very simple. Unfortunately, Shadow is now a sitting duck. Uh, as for Shadow, maybe you should learn some more magic. I don't want to give Zona Seeker to you, because that takes it off Strago. I want you to learn Rasp and Osmos from Shiva, if you don't mind. He thinks that'll be a good idea. It's very unfortunate you cannot use Vanish outside a battle. I mean, you can use Float, but for some reason you can't use Vanish. That sucks. Ooh, what does this button do? Apparently it does something good. Should I go this way? No, I cannot. Damn it! Oh, here's a new enemy! Well, two new enemies, actually. Brain Pan and Misfit. You can use fire against the Misfit. And silencing Touch, well, obviously, I don't like it. Let's see. The Apocrypha only uses most deadly magic when it's alone. So take it out now. You will be heavily advised to do so. And as for the brain pans, I'm not going to worry too much about them. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to take out the Apocrypha. And Shadow, you're going to need to be invisible too. So I'll block take care of that. Ow. The brain pans can use a thousand needles, which is very devastating. But it's also another lore for Strago. So even if it connects, then, well, that won't be too bad. Speaking of lures, level 5 death should work on these guys, too. Damn, they got really big ears! What's weighing them down? Oh, that's nasty. So yeah, that's all you need to do to take care of them. They're not too bad now, are they? Can't go this way. I love how you always go the wrong way first. Oh, great. Apocryphas and misfits. 
Well, I can handle them. Uh, Kato Belpus? Why don't you take over? Let's see if you can do anything here. Can the Demon Eye work? Well, two out of three ain't bad. Not bad, Locke, not bad. Or maybe I should be giving K the credit to the Kato Belpus. That was pretty damn useful. Shadow's gaining levels, but he's not gaining any boosts. But that's okay. That much I can live with. That'll be forgiven for now. Let's go this way. Hey, yeah, there's a blackjack! We don't want to go that way yet. Uh, left or right? I'm gonna go right. Oh, great. More platinum dragons. Let's try this again. These guys are very annoying, but luckily I've only seen them do physical attacks. Oh, that is just great. Thanks. Well, Locke, you're gonna have to get some more magic. You're running pretty low. Ah, 1332. I was hoping for 1337. That would be uber lead to my right, guys. Whatever. Here, let me get some more magic. Woohoo, 200! That's a lot of MP for something I've never seen you guys use. Well, I think if you can fuse them, they will use Cyclonic on themselves. So you can take advantage of that. Is this the right way to go? It better be. Okay, it's leading somewhere. Damn it! I was supposed to go the other way! I mean, who designed this floating continent anyway? I could have swore the Earth looked nothing like this. Could this be part of the magic of the Warring Triad? Who knows? Let me hit this switch. Oh, great brain pants. Oh, it was nice knowing you guys. I suppose I can put off learning Thousand Needles. Why not? I know there's one more enemy you can find here that's very, very devastating. We haven't seen it yet. Is this gonna help us? Eh, it might. We didn't press this for no reason. This, however, might help too. Okay, so I pressed this for a reason. Obviously, I have to go this way. Uh, just takes me back here, but now we can go in this direction. Okay, I decided to learn uh, Osmos and Rasper Shadow by putting Zona Seeker on him. Strago got Siren to learn extra HP, which I think he could benefit from quite a bit, even though he has the most HP out of all of us. Eh, I think I'll just leave it like that for now. Boosting Shadow's magic can help with his scrolls, too. Alright, let's go. Should I go down? Yeah, I'm going right. It's so nice when Demon Eye works on the first try against all the Platinum Dragons. Really nice, really nice. I think I'm gonna go right. Let's see what this does. Okay, creates another warp. I'm gonna go the other way. Oh, bad news. Turns out Platinum Dragons can cast Cyclo Cyclonic anyway, even if they're not confused. Oh, that puts a damper on our plan. Now Terra and Locke are no longer invisible. Duh! Okay, there's something down there. Let me check it out. Right, so far so good, that's a save point. I hate to use a tent because that will nullify the invisibility, but he thinks that would be a good idea at this point. Besides, we can just put it back on with Phantom. No rush. Okay, let me check out that chest over there to the right. I bet you there'll be something good. 
Ah, beret. What does that do? Check out the beret. It's probably in helmets. Cap that increases the success rate of sketch. I take what I just said back. I thought it was going to be useful. Okay, it took me a while, but I finally ran into a dragon. Yeah, you're wondering why I actually ran into a dragon on purpose. Well, you're going to find out why soon enough. Okay, Strago, I'm going to have you use Discord on it. I wanted to run into at least one dragon just to fill out the bestiary for this place, because, you know, it would be a good idea to do so. Now, Terra, why don't you use Vanish Unlock? Okay, apparently Discord does not work. Its physical attacks are very powerful, but it's Revenge Blast that will kill you, pretty much. Especially if you do a lot of damage to it. And all I got is a high potion to show for it. That sucks. But that's okay. I mean, it did help me learn how to steal from it. You can get Genji Gloves from this thing, though. So if you were able to get one, that would have been great. Let me use Stop on it. Okay, good, it worked. I'm gonna throw a shuriken, why not, Shadow? Terra, why don't you use Phantom? Just get us invisible again. And lock just in case, cast slow. Where's slow? Where's slow? Oh, there it is. No, not slow, I meant sleep. Damn it! A mistake. Yeah, because I want to be able to incapacitate the dragon while it's still asleep. Otherwise, we'd be in serious trouble. And we don't want trouble. We want to stay alive. I think Thundara, or Electricity, is its weakness, so good job, Shadow. Unfortunately, Genji Gloves are quite a rare steal. If you were able to get one, count your blessings. Oh, nice job, Shadow. You learned some more magic. What Esper did I have on you again? Let me change things around. I had Siren on Strago to learn some HP. Oh, that's right, I had Bismarck on. Just to boost your strength. Um, I think I'd want to boost your... I think I want to boost your HP. Put Siren on you. Zonus Seeker, I believe I put on Locke for his magic. I'm gonna put Kato Belpus back on. I left Terra as she was with the uh, Phantom, so I felt that was the best choice to use. Right, let me go to my high potions. I don't want to get rid of invisibility. Okay, that's good. Right, now we can continue rather than worry about more encounters. I have to press the switch again. Fine, I'll do it. There, this is where we're supposed to go, over here. Alright, let's go. Look, the airship's down there! No, don't return to the airship unless you really need to stock up on more items, but unfortunately you have to start this dungeon again. Let's go through this little passageway. Alright, let's go. Whoa, there's one big-ass beast! Okay, what you want to do, which is quite a good idea... I believe it's in your best interest to put Reflect Rings on everyone. Yes, every single character should have a Reflect Ring, even Shadow. Uh, take the Genji Glove off you. For a Reflect Ring. I think that would be the best choice. Yeah, don't worry about that, I'll just put the Hawkeye on. No, not the Hawkeye. I think we'll go with Ultima Weapon for now. Yeah, you're alright as you are, but I'm gonna reflect ring on you too. Keep the... Should I keep the white cape on? Yeah, I think I... Take the earring off. No, no, keep the earring on. And reflect ring. Don't worry about healing or cure up because white wing is not... White wind is not reflectable. So you have nothing to worry about there, and I don't think this guy uses instant death moves. So I can probably take the memento ring off. Okay, this fight will be a pain in the ass. Trust me on this one. Let's go. Now we gotta take on Ultima Weapon. 
My name is Ultima. I am power both ancient and unrivaled. I do not bleed! For I am but strength given form. Feeble creatures of flesh. Your time is nigh. Well, look at you talking like you're Cyan all of a sudden. Okay, hit this guy with everything you got because he is deadly. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go with Aqua Breath. There are two ways you can actually kill this boss. Through Brute Strength, which takes a long time, unfortunately. The other way is absorbing and nullifying all of its MP. Okay, that was Flare, unfortunately. Not good. Definitely not good. Hopefully invisibility is not a detriment here. Because Flare is still hit. Oh, and all I got was an elixir to show for it. Okay, Terra can still reflect things. So, I'm gonna start using White Wind. It might get rid of the invisibility, but invisibility is not gonna help you here. Just hit this guy with everything you got. If you can absorb magic, all the power to ya. I don't think this guy has a weakness at all, unfortunately. Ooh, Fuma Shuriken! I should really use those, they're very powerful ninja stars. There we go. Alright, let's hit this guy hard. Yeah, I, I was talking about us, not you. Sorry if you didn't get the message there. So yeah, pretty much you're gonna be using magic only for this. Except for Shadow. Have him use the shurikens. Granted, the MP kill using Rasp and Osmos actually takes an even longer time, but at least you don't have to worry about his second and third stage of attacks. Yes, he has multiple stages of attacks. And I should have used Float before starting this battle. That's a dumbass move on my part. Luckily, Terra still had the Gaia gear. Unfortunately, not everybody can put it on. So that's quite a little detriment. We'll manage. Okay, let me see if I can cast slow on this guy. Better buy us some more time. Uh-oh. Ow! Not nice. If I can slow him down, that will give us more moves to work with. Now, Terra, why don't you use Trance this time? There, now we get a little bit of a boost. Uh, don't revert yet. Uh, I'll go with Fyra. Good thing I still got Strago for healing. Uh, let's take some of that MP. That don't belong to you anyway. Oh yeah, talk about a boost! Unfortunately, that meter is going down. So make the most of what you got. Uh oh, Flare again! Yep, just because I was invisible, that hit despite the Reflect status. That's why I was still able to hit Terra. So yeah, an ailment which actually helped us quite a bit earlier. Ooh! I did not think I was beating him that fast! I thought it was going to take longer! Well then, that works for me! I have no right to fight at your side. Not after I sold myself to the Empire. Um... Bye? Awkward. Anyways, I'm gonna stop the video here, and next part we're finally going to confront Gestel and Kefka and end this once and for all. Goodbye, everybody.